Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can revert some unwanted changes without completely starting from scratch on one of your video clips inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. So as you can see, I've intentionally messed up this clip with keyframing, changing unnecessary settings, and adding on open effects on top of a clip to make it look suitably ridiculous. So one way we can revert some of these unwanted changes is, is going to be to take a look at the keyframes and delete extra or unnecessary keyframes so that as it animates over time, it looks a bit smoother and more appropriate to what we actually want. So in order to see all of your keyframes, go over to the right on your video clip, enable selection mode with the A key or clicking over here, and then you can click where you see the keyframing diamond. And when you do that, that's going to open up. And when you click that, it's going to open up several bars for the settings that you keyframed showing where the keyframes are at across the timeline. So if you look closely here and I'll zoom in a bit, you can see that I accidentally set up three keyframes here in quick succession. So one time this can easily happen is when you're clicking around in your timeline and you try to go back and change the setting of a previous keyframe, thinking that you're going to modify that but then you accidentally add in a completely new keyframe by clicking very close to it but not on the exact frame. For that reason, it's usually better to navigate between your keyframes by hitting these back and forward keys in the inspector so that you don't accidentally misclick. But in case you do, you can actually click on each of these individual keyframes without going to the frame in the timeline and just deleting them. So when you have the keyframes on the timeline, it's easy to see where you may have made a mistake. So in order to remove these unwanted keyframes for the properties you're trying to set, you can click over on them in the timeline. And while you have this mode open, it's going to automatically snap very easily to those keyframes. And then while you're on the frame, you can simply click on the red diamond inside of the inspector and it's going to remove it. So for the one that's on the left here, assuming you don't want that one, you can click once again and that will remove your unwanted keyframe. So feel free to do that as much as you want when you open up your keyframes in the timeline. It's going to show this keyframing bar for each property that you have keyframed. So if you have something like cropping or rotation animating over time, it should pop up with its own bar here while you're in this mode. So let's say that you've changed one of your settings, maybe you've keyframed a lot of times and you want to completely remove something like cropping, or you simply don't remember the original values for something like position. Well, you can reset everything for that property to its default value by clicking on these revert icons to the right of any property in the inspector. So if I want to revert cropping, I can click here for revert crop bottom. I can also click up here in the top right hand corner of cropping to revert all values in the section at once. So I can click to revert crop bottom there, and that will remove all of the keyframing, resetting everything to the default value of no cropping for the bottom all the way across that video clip. So if you have a lot of keyframes set and you want to remove all of that at once, you can simply click reset. So as you can see, I still have a whole lot of settings for transform in the bottom there, and I can reset all of those to the default values for position x and y and all i need to do is click over here on the right to do that so you can see here that the position is reset back to the value of zero there for x and zero there for y so if you've added a special effect or a open fx to a clip like here and you want to remove that you can go up to the inspector top right hand corner and there will be a extra tab here while you have those video effects on called open effects if you click on that you'll be able to see any effects that you've added on to your video clip now, just like with the other settings, you can revert any of the customizations you've made by clicking these revert icons. But if you decide that you want to remove it completely, just hit the trash can icon in the top right hand corner for that effect. And just like that, the effect is gone. So by removing individual keyframes, resetting individual properties, or removing open effects one at a time, you're able to revert some of the changes that you've made and you later decide you don't want which means that you don't have to go all the way back to the start of editing your clip. So we can keep taking things further. Maybe we don't want the opacity to be lowered above 100%. Maybe we want the rotation angle to go back to normal. So I can revert that as well. And as you go step by step with these settings, you can get back as close as you want it to look like the original clip. Or maybe you simply only want to undo one change. So I hope that some of these tips have helped you guys out in understanding how you can revert some of your unwanted changes inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.